Gareth Swanepoel on his Elna Fox Kawasaki has been unbeaten so far this season and led the championship by seven points from last year's champion Jakub Vormerans going into round three. Gareth, you're unbeaten this year in, uh, the, in the junior category. How are you going to play today, Shrein? I'm just going to go uh, out as positive, try to win the race. Just want to get as much points as I can and try to stay smooth. Yaku, your biggest opposition? Yes, he is, but today I was in practice, I looked like I was quite a bit quicker than him. And we'll see how it goes. The youngsters on their ATCC machines off the line for heat one and just look at Gareth Swanepoel shooting into the lead immediately. On his outside it's Mario Foster who goes wide going to turn one a bit too fast and it's down. Oh somebody else goes over him but both of them seem to be all right. As the rest of the field piles through turn two it's already Gareth Swanepoel and Jakub Omeraz opening up a lead. Further down the field, and Christopher Doyle in fifth has a battle on his hands to keep Lawrence Mahoney away. Seventh is Xavier Skunrat on his Yamaha. And with the leaders pulling away all the time, numerous battles were developing down the field. After his disastrous start, Mario Foster on his Honda was moving up and now started to challenge the midfield runners. But another great ride for Gareth Swanepoel, who just raced into the distance. The young Elna Fox Kawasaki rider has decimated the opposition this year in both Total Super Series and Motocross. On the last lap and coming up to some back markers, Swanepoel couldn't even see the opposition as he took the checkered flag for the 18th consecutive time. So, Swanepoel from Vormerans, these two dominating the junior motorcycle category this year. Clayton Duckworth brought his Kawasaki home in third ahead of Lawrence Mahoney. Gareth, well done. That seemed to be easy. Yeah, it was very easy. I got the whole shot, and I think Yaku fell off, and I just pulled away from the rest of the pack. Do you think it's going to be that easy for the next two races? Yeah, if I can just keep my head straight and I just get a whole shot, yes, it will be. Now to the four-wheelers, and in the pro quad category, the battle between Christo van der Merwe and Jacques Strubich was hotting up, the two sharing the lead in the championship after two rounds. Christo, you have a great forelooper with Jacques, but you have one for a week. Is it a very important one for you today? Yeah, definitely. We are now in the series in the park, so every point tells definitely, you know. And we would like to win every hour, we win. En uh, die baan is baie verander vandag het ons gesien, uh, maar hy is redelijk vannacht vandag, baie oop. En uh, ek denk het gaan een tabbe reis wees, ja, ons gaan definitief mekaar ek hou geef vir die eerste plek. It's a tricky downhill start and with all the riders trying to get to turn one first, one has to get your speed and your line into the corner exactly right. It's a relatively small field, so no problems as Jacques Struwig on the only Suzuki takes the lead into the second corner. A bad start for Christo van der Merwe, who's only in seventh position. Out of the tight left-hander, and it's Struwig ahead of Paul and Mark Brickell, and oh dear, Struwig's got a problem. He's pulling off to the side of the track, and it seems as if this Suzuki has just died. That's a tragedy for the joint championship leader. The rest of the field streaming through, and Vickers van Deventer on the Jojo Tanks Honda also had a bad start, but he's starting to make up, and is already up amongst the leaders. But it's Paul Brickle on Team Brasco's Philips Rotex, who's taken the lead ahead of his brother and teammate, Mark, on a Yamaha. Brickle now opening up a lead, and Van Deventer is up to fourth. A few laps later, and now Christo van der on the Johannesburg Yamaha Banshee has moved past Mark Brickle and into second position. Vickers van Deventer is also challenging Brickle for third. Paul Brickle hasn't won a race yet this season and is reveling in his first position, pushing the Brasco Phillips Rotax to its absolute limits. Behind him is Christo van der Merwe and then a tremendous battle for third between Mark Brickle and reigning champion Vickers van Deventer on the Jojo Tanks Honda. Brickle cannot afford a moment of relaxation, the track being extremely slippery, but just look at his high-speed quad control. Getting towards the end of the race and Brickle is sizing up the challenge of Christopher Namara behind him. 
one of Narvaez's wandering when Van Diefente is going to arrive on the scene. Still, it's Paul Brickle, but Van Narvaez is starting to catch. Brickle hasn't had this kind of pressure yet. Will he last? Van Merve is clear from the battle for third and can concentrate all his attention on catching Brickle. It's a difficult off-camber left-hander just after the finish line, and Van Merve is on the very edge of adhesion. Brickle knows that Van Merve is closing the gap, and Van Merve knows that he doesn't have a lot of time left to do it. Now, Brickle on the Team Brasco Phillips Rotax, pushing extremely hard and getting tired. Van der Merwe has seen his main championship rival Jacques Struwig come to a halt and wants to capitalize to the maximum. He wants that first place and he wants it desperately. It's a long, fast uphill climb towards the finish line and the gap between Brickle and Van der Merwe is closing all the time. But it's the last lap and all the leader has to do is to hold out for the checkered flag. Brickle wins his first race of the season with Van der Merwe in second and Vickers van Deventer eventually coming in third ahead of a hard-charging Skulk Burger. Paul, did you, uh, were you surprised with that? Um, your best finish so far this season? Yeah, I say from lack of time, but I was surprised. I actually got a good start. I don't know if I'm fit enough to keep it up, but <laughs> I'll keep on trying. You reckon it's maybe the beginning of a comeback for you? Ah, uh, I don't know, I hope so, but uh, we'll see. The super special